So I was in a conversation recently where the person was frustrated over the fact that people say they want one thing, but they behave in a way that's incongruent with their stated desire. In this case, somebody wanting health and longevity, but they're smoking. And all of us have a writing reflex within us to a certain degree where we hear something or we observe something that we think is such an obvious bad choice. And because we're invested in this individual, we want to tell them something or give them insight, information, or somehow persuade them. If they could just have what we have or see the world the way we see the world, they would understand how obviously bad a choice doing what they're currently doing is and they would give it up. But here's one of the ironies of this perspective. Let's say we're talking to someone who wants to quit smoking. They understand it's bad for their health, but they're struggling with an inner conflict, ambivalence, if you will, where they want one thing, but they want another thing that's in contradiction. And we're not going to go into why they want the thing they want. They just want two different things. So they have a voice in their own head advocating for change, just like you are, but they also have a voice in their head advocating to stay exactly the way they are. Whatever it is that you or I, for that matter, start to advocate for, the voice against that becomes louder. The more we tell them they cannot smoke or they cannot eat this, the more the voice in their head saying that they should stay the same and not make changes, the more powerful and persuasive it becomes because reactance is somebody's response to a perception that their freedom is being taken away, their right to choose is being constrained, or they're being unfairly judged. So whatever gets insisted gets resisted. So what do you do instead? One thing is affirmation. Affirm, ask questions, take interest. You know, tell me a story about the last time that you wanted one thing, but you know, you also wanted something else that worked against this other thing that you just said was important. But yet in spite of that, you were able to identify your values and you were able to employ some inner strengths to reconcile what you truly wanted and move forward and successfully attain that thing. What did you use? What was the strategies? Who were the people that were around you? And utilize an individual's own internal conversation to persuade them because the voice in their own head that's trying to persuade them to change is most likely more powerful and effective than our voice.